Hey folks, Steve here. How you doing? Great day in the Magic Trailer. Great day to be a contractor. Great day to be outside. It's a beautiful day out here. Just had some new fallen snow. I'm working outside under my tent. Life is good. Life is good. I had a couple of questions about this uh, large tool garage, so I figured I'd address them today since I had a moment before I start uh, actually setting up. And it had to do specifically with, <coughs> oh, excuse me, with uh, this bar that I actually use in order to support. And there are a lot of different ways I could have done this. And I've had a lot of comments on, hey, what about this? What about that? And they're all very good comments, very good suggestions. And if I do this again, I would probably do it differently then with uh, some of those suggestions. But here's the idea. When I built this large tool garage, the reason why I have this large tool garage vertically and at the end, as opposed to if you formally follow the Ron Polk style, it's horizontally, still on this side, but it's horizontal. I have too narrow of an aisle, and I cannot physically, if I did a horizontal tool garage for my big two tools, miter box table saw, that I could not physically pick them up and get them out of the trailer because my aisle is just too narrow. So had to redesign and create my own thing, which was the vertical end cap tool garage. Now, because of that, I still could not really have uh, kind of a wall here, a side of a cabinet, because again, I have to kind of pull them out this way more so than anything else. So a wall would be restrictive. I could have put maybe a three inch wall in there and that would have been good for support, but I didn't. So what I did was I have this floating shelf it's dadoed in on two sides. So I actually ran dados and it's glued in there and screwed from the back and the side. So it's pretty firm, but of course it's problematic because it's a floating shelf only supported on two sides with typically that's where my, actually not typically, that's where my miter box sets. And my miter box goes 50, 60 pounds. It's a DeWalt 12 inch. And so problematic. Thus this post, this post has two notches, one notch for the top, one notch for the middle and at the top that's also kind of the ceiling for this cabinet is floating now interestingly after four years of having this trailer four years with this particular design four years of that miter box sitting on this thing if i were to just set this up and show you check this out that is all of the sag that i have in this particular shelf after four years and up top i always had that sag. I mean, that was literally day one when I used this uh, support. That was the sag. That hasn't moved either. So I count the design as actually, it's lasted. It's time tested. I'm very happy with this. Now, when I put this thing in, I don't know if I can get it in. Yeah, that, there we go. And like that. So it's a little bit of lift, a little, little bit of lift. And now I'm fully supported. I do have a screw up top and a screw in the middle inch and five eighths drywall and I always have drivers over here and I have screw guns over there so it's never hard to put the screws in or take them out but I don't I uh, I find it rides just fine especially if I'm local within a half hour or so uh, I will always put the bar in but I don't do the screws <laughs> I've had people come up in my trailer I'll be in there messing around they'll come up hey Spence how you doing they'll grab onto this bar and they'll kind of lean back a little bit and they'll pull the bar out because I never had the screws in so I always apologize for that but the idea is that uh, it is it is active restraint, but it could be more active if I put the screws in. I only put the screws in when I am traveling long distances and I'm worried about the roads. This could come out and then that saw will have its, its dramatic effect on that shelf there. And I don't want to have to rebuild anything. So hey, thank you very much for sticking with me, folks. I appreciate it. I hope that kind of cleared up some questions that you may or may not have had. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day. It's getting, ooh, it's getting sunny out. Hope you have a great day because you deserve it and if you would like to subscribe because it's free to you and it really helps me out thank you very much you all take care have a wonderful day bye